welcome back for another evening of tasting whiskey. Uh, when you see this, it should be a Monday night, and um, I'm going to do four or more whiskeys this week. To begin, I'll start with a lower ABV, something that's relatively gentle, not overly powerful, and not going to raunch me out. This is the Forty Creek Victory. It's been on my bar since uh, uh, quite a while ago. That while ago was uh, the 2nd of October, no, nope, 2nd of November. 2nd of November 2019. It is a 2019 special release. I think it says so on here somewhere. Yeah, limited 2019 edition right there. Well, I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to pour me a dram. And while that, oh, look at this fancy bottle. Forty Creek Victory. What a fancy bottle. It's bottled at 43% alcohol. It's Canadian whiskey, so it's blended rye and corn and maybe something else. I haven't looked at the details yet. I will read what's on the box. Um, over here it says 40 Creek Victory. Cost $79.99 Canadian dollars. So $8 in um, liquor tax and $4 in goods and services tax. So $12 on top of 80 is 92 bucks plus with the uh, bottle deposit uh, Ninety-two dollars and nine cents out the door. Ninety-two dollars and nine cents out the door. Ten cents if you're paying cash, because we don't have pennies. Now there's got to be a pull tab somewhere. I'm looking for the pull tab. I think I might have to peel this whole foil off. No. It looks like there's a pull tab there, but it's underneath. It's it's uh, it's uh, covered over by foil, and the foil doesn't want to give away easily. So I will have to coarse it with a knife. Oh, let's just cut it away. There we are. Let's just cut all this annoying foil out of the way and take it off. There we are. That part was easy. I think I should have a little bit of water first. Because I had a gin and tonic to cool me off after bringing all my groceries home. Oh! This is a synthetic cork, but what a pop! Big fancy bottle. Have another look. What does it say on here? 40 Creek Victory. Engagement at the 40 June 8th, 1813. There's a historical thing to it. Okay. An exceptional Canadian whiskey masterfully blended in commemoration of the 205th anniversary of the engagement at the 40. Canadian whiskey, lot number 13, bottle number 11,809. So they put out a lot of these. There might still be some left. Bottle number 11,809. Okay. So I don't think it's that exclusive. What does it say here? Masterfully blended in commemoration. Okay, it says the same thing here that it does on the bottle. Uh, okay, 40creekwhiskey.com. Victory right along the side. 
and on the back. On the back it says, our latest annual limited release, Forty Creek Victory, helps to commemorate the 205th anniversary of the engagement at the Forty during the War of 1812. Okay, on June 8th, 1813, American troops were forced to retreat from their camp located near where the Forty Creek Distillery stands today. Thanks to a combined effort from local residents, indigenous peoples, and the British Navy, the engagement at the Forty provided critical, proved critical in preventing the further advancement of American forces and helping secure victory for what would eventually become known as Canada. Forty Creek Victory is an exceptional whiskey crafted just steps from where this monumental moment in Canada's history took place. It continues our tradition of experimentation and aging with unique types of wood. Our master blender handpicked only his best Canadian whiskey to further age with the addition of high vanilla wood staves, resulting in a flavor that is signature Forty Creek. Forty Creek Victory aims to advance Canada's reputation for producing award-winning whiskies, full-flavored, well-rounded, and sure to claim its own victory as a fan favorite across Canada and around the world. Forty Creek Distillery, Grimsby, Ontario, Canada. You know, there's some history to the Forty Creek Distillery. It was started out by a European whose name was Reeder. I don't know if he was Swiss or German. Anyway, his name was Reeder. And uh, he made Eau de Vie, Kirsch, and uh, basically unaged um, spirits. And there wasn't such a great market for eau de vie. And so uh, I think the distillery closed and then John Hall took over years later to start his whiskey production. But I'm not a historian, so I probably got some of that wrong. On a nose. Caramel, toffee, vanilla, toffee, corn sweetness, a lot of corn sweetness. I'm getting the corn husks. I'm getting yeah, quite a bit of corn, corn, corn husks. This is probably mostly corn. There you go. It's like corn whiskey aged in uh, ex bourbon barrels. Are they first fill? Are they second fill? I don't know. It said something about high vanilla staves, so they must have been there's definitely vanilla here. There's definitely toffee caramel, but there is that corn husk note as well. I would have liked more toffee and less corn husk. For my 92 bucks, maybe with time, as the, um, as the bottle gets lower, the fill level gets lower and it gets more exposure to the oxygen in the air, it's quite possible that the corn husk note will fade away 
yielding more toffee and caramel and butterscotch and a little less sweetness a little more vanilla now I'm gonna taste it oh before I taste it let's have a look at the uh, legs oh yeah fat legs coming down and then sheeting action and then there's quite some droplets sticking up there and not moving very slow secondaries still that strong corn husk note let's give it a taste Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Wow. I'm getting a lot of vanilla. I'm getting toffee. I'm getting butterscotch. That corn husk note that I was getting on the nose. does not appear to be present on the palate. Oh, it's, it's rich and viscous. Mm. Oh. Vanilla, toffee, maple syrup. Wow. And it is sweet. But not cloyingly sweet. It's just lovely sweet. I'm going to add a bit of water and see what that does to it. That should be quite enough. See if that brings out anything extra. Classic Canadian whiskey. Okay. A little less of the corn husk. Now I'm getting a little bit of maple syrup on the nose. I'm also getting fudge. Like a chocolate fudge. Chocolate fudge, maple fudge. Mm. Still quite sweet. Maple fudge, chocolate fudge. Um, butterscotch, caramel, vanilla. Yeah, it's got all of those things. But on the nose, once again, I come back to it. And there's that corn husk. So far, I like it. Bottle at 43%, not overpowering. It's a little bit sweet to be a daily sipper, but it has a lot of delicious flavors, delicious sweetness, It's sweet. (laughs) 
Yeah, it's a little bit of a rye note. It's a little bit spicy, but just a tiny little bit. This is mostly sweet, caramel, vanilla, maple syrup. Even smells like maple syrup tastes. Ugh. Yeah, this is special. If you like your sweet Canadian whiskey, this is the way to go. Mm. Oh, thick. And yes, high vanilla, high vanilla. I'm getting a bit of a wood, wood spice now as it's opening up a little bit. Tannins from the wood, spicy and sweet. Very nice, very, very nice. Cheers. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>